Hello, I'm Frank Fellers, the owner of Fellers. This is 3M's edge sealing tape. We have two versions, one in a gloss version and one in the matte version. Today I have Justin Pate, he's the owner of the Rap Institute and the world's leading rap trainer. Glad to have you here, Justin. Happy and uh, tell me why these two particular tapes are so important for rap installers to have in their tool chest. You know, for me, it's as simple as durability. Okay, what these do is when you're like for bumpers or if you're up in a boat, what this does is several things. It holds the material, especially in particular areas you've stretched it like mirrors and bumpers, holds it onto the car so it creates it from shrinking back, that memory effect. But like on uh, wheel wells or boats and stuff like that, it also keeps moisture from coming in and getting under the film and compromising it, which also factors in durability. So it's one of those things where I think every installer should have this in their tool bag because it just makes it the bumpers last for the course of the wrap. There's a big, big thing, especially like on uh, low surface energies like plastic and stuff like that. For me, having matte is great for matte, gloss for gloss, and it's just one of the things you want to have them both in your tool bag. And what I'm going to do is show footage from the Wrap Institute and from wrapping your car of the key areas where you want to put it. And again, for me, it's a low cost price point, which is going to save you hundreds of dollars because if you have to rewrap a bumper, your profit's gone. If you invest in this, long-term durability, no question you should have it. It's one of the most important tools you have in your bag. Awesome. And of course, you could, I guess, cut your own materials, but you could. this is already cut for you, ready to go. 100%. You know, Good it's under 3M brand name, super high quality. You know it's going to work every time. No question. Great. Thank you. This is a close-up overview of the 3M Edge Seal Tape. The white is the matte. The clear is the gloss. Each roll comes with a little sliver of masking tape. Always try to keep that for the end. You release the liner and expose the adhesive. Never put your fingers on it because that can leave fingerprints. So always try to leave the liner on as long as possible. If you release the entire liner, because of the thinness of the edge seal and the aggressiveness of the adhesive, if it folds on itself, it's impossible to get apart. So always try to leave the liner on as long as possible. When you're done applying the edge seal tape, take that sliver of masking tape or cut a new one and reapply it to the edge. Otherwise, it'll unroll in your tool bag. And then, to keep dirt from building up on the edges, which can lower quality, always put it back in a sandwich bag and seal it completely so it keeps it safe inside the tool bag. Edge seal comes in very handy for the bottom areas of bumpers. This is a notoriously difficult area to wrap for long-term durability. So once this area has been applied, simply put half of the edge seal on the film and half on the painted surface. This is doing a combination of things. It's holding the film onto the body for the long term because the adhesive side of the edge seal is very strong and thin, but it's also keeping chemicals from getting underneath the edge which can compromise it as well. So again, half on the film and half on the body and it's extremely strong. Another little tip is, for the upper section of the bumper, where the back light goes, this can get overstretched as well. So deep inside the back light area, apply edge seal, again, half on the film and half on the body, and this can really help for long-term durability. You don't see it once the light's been applied. You can also use it between the cab and bed. This is another notorious area where the film gets overstretched and it can finger or peel back over time. And again, obviously matching the gloss with the gloss, but again, in this case, matte with the matte, is you put half on the film and half on the body. And for this area, again, easily overstretched, if you put edge seal on, you don't see the edge seal once it's been applied, but it holds the film onto the vehicle for the long term, which is a great combination. And again, definitely want to put this on every time you wrap. And it doesn't cost much in terms of the cost of the edge seal, because you're only using two or three yards, but the amount of film and time that it can save by just applying this on the body properly can be really beneficial, especially on this back area of the fender of a truck, and this is also true on Ford cargo vans or in Chevy vans, for example, is apply half on the film and half on the body, and this again creates long-term durability, and you don't lower quality because it blends into the vehicle and the film if you match it up with the right material. Edge seal comes in particularly handy on tricky areas when you're using chrome and calendar film. Both films are typically hard to put on compound curves, so again, by putting edge seal on, and then going back with a heat gun to make sure it's nice and sealed really helps for long-term durability. 3M Edge Seal can also be used for window perforations, especially on back windows where there's a lot of curve. You can cut the film away, let's say about an eighth of an inch, and you're going to apply half the edge seal to the window perforation, half onto the flat side of the window. This not only holds the window perforation on, but also keeps moisture from getting under the edges. Again, it creates long-term durability and high quality. 
3 image seal is also essential to use on boats. Again, match the gloss with the gloss film or matte with the matte, but again you want to put half on the film and half on the body. The way this is particularly useful for boats is because they're exposed to a lot of moisture, especially here at the front where you generally have an overlap. This helps create long-term durability and keeps moisture from getting underneath the film.